This is a problem about the relationship between wavelength, frequency, and energy of light. All these things are related, and the equations that relate them are really pretty simple. And this is a really common kind of problem that we use in astronomy. All right, so the problem itself is not particularly astronomical, but I think it's sort of interesting. Your microwave oven uses light to cook food, and we sort of take microwave ovens for granted these days, but that's pretty awesome. So the wavelength of the light that your microwave oven uses to cook food is about 1.2 centimeters. The question is, what is the frequency and what is the energy of these microwaves? And you might know the energy or wattage of your, of your microwave oven. Um, just in case you're curious, that's not the answer to this particular question. Instead, we're talking about just the light, just the light itself. So let's start by working on the frequency. All right, as I said, these equations are pretty simple. The equation we're going to use for frequency, I'm going to say C, that's the speed of light, is equal to, this is a funny Greek letter, it's called lambda, that stands for the wavelength of light times the frequency of light. C is equal to 3, about 3.0, times 10 to the 8 meters per second. You can look this up. Um, it's a major, major constant. Lambda, the wavelength, that was given in the problem up here. That's going to be 1.2 centimeters, but we have the speed of light using meters, so let's, let's go ahead and change this. So for every one meter, there are 100 centimeters, so that's going to make this 0 0.012 whoops, meters. There we go. All right, before I put the numbers in, let's make sure that I'm using the equation in the right way. We're trying to find frequency, so we want to get frequency by itself. To do that, I'm going to divide both sides here by wavelength. So I'm going to cancel on this side, so I have speed of light divided by the wavelength is equal to the frequency. So let's just rewrite that here. 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second divided by 0 0.012 meters. All right, just a couple numbers. Go ahead and do it, and you should get something like 2.5 times 10 to the 10. And let's take a look at units, meters. That's going to cancel. So we're left with 1 over seconds on the top, which is a really funny unit. Um, in this case, we're talking about how many times in one second these light waves wiggle up and down. And that has a special unit that we use that's called hertz. But really, hertz is 1 divided by seconds. OK. So we've done. We've done the first part. Not too bad. For the second part, if we're looking for the energy, then we use an equation that looks like this. Energy equals H times F. This is all set up and ready to go for us. Um, H is a constant it's called Planck's constant, and it has a value of 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34, so it's teeny tiny, teeny tiny. And this has units. It has units of joules, which is big J, and that's the unit of energy, times seconds. All right, let me get a little more room here. Energy is going to be 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joules times seconds times the frequency, we already calculated that, 2.5 times 10 to the 10. And the units were hertz, but remember that's basically 1 divided by seconds. So nice, seconds are going to cancel out. And our final energy is going to be 1.7 times 10 to the minus 23, so really small number, joules. And that's our answer. So we've really completed this problem now. Um, if you're doing this for homework, don't forget 
you need to state these answers using complete sentence. Um, we're done with the problem. If you want to shut it off now, you're welcome to. If you want to know what that wattage on your microwave oven really means, then I'll tell you now. So the wattage on my microwave oven at home is 1,200 watts. A watt is a joule per second. It's 1,200 joules per second. What this means in terms of the energy of the actual microwaves themselves is how many microwaves does your microwave oven produce every second? Because the more microwaves it produces, the faster your food will cook. So we can actually calculate how many individual microwaves this microwave produces if we take the energy of each microwave 1.7 times 10 to the minus 23 and we are going to combine it with the wattage of the microwave. So actually I want to do this a little differently. Sorry, beg your pardon. We're going to start with the wattage of the microwave. I've changed my mind. Joules per second. I'm going to divide by 1.7 times 10 to the minus 23 joules. Joules are going to cancel. And the number we get, I don't have this calculated ahead of time. I get about 7 times 10 to the 25 waves per second. 7 times 10 to the 25, that's a huge number, and that's how many microwaves my microwave oven makes every second. All right, so now you know. Now you know what that wattage means. All right, done with the problem. Good job.